The identity statement for today is, I cannot be separated from the love of God. This comes from Romans 8, 35 through 39. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall, tri shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we are being killed all the, the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who, him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of Jesus Christ our Lord. I was working on memorizing this verse a while ago, and I kept getting tripped up in the neither death nor life nor angels nor demons nor rulers nor present nor things present nor things to come nor powers nor heights nor depths nor anything else in all creation. And I remember saying out loud when I messed this up, I was like, man, why are there so many things? This could have just been so much shorter. And I just felt like the Holy Spirit said very softly to me, you wouldn't believe all the excuses that people throw at me for why the God doesn't love them. I laughed a little because it just hadn't hit me until that moment that that's really what this passage is. It's a list of excuses and reasons why God couldn't love us. But Paul is declaring the truth that there is nothing that can separate us. There is nothing that can separate you from God's love. As followers of Jesus, we are forever his, period. In times when in our life when life is just pressing in all around us and the chaos in our mind is becoming the loudest voice in our head, I, re I really just lean on this passage and I encourage you to do the same, that there's no excuse, no mistake, no person that can keep me from the love of Jesus Christ. Let's say our identity statement together again. I cannot be separated from the love of God. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this truth that as followers of Jesus, we can never be separated from your love, that you love us because you love us because you love us. And no matter what's going on in our lives, no matter the mistake that we made this morning or last night or last week, um, that doesn't undo anything, that you still love us fiercely. We pray that we would raise our level of belief in that and walk um, with a refreshing perspective that there is nothing that we can do that separates us from our love, that your love for us. In the name we pray, amen.